Hey there, my friend. I want to share with you a formula of sorts for making the perfect dump cake. So I'm going to start with showing the cherry version. So this is two cans of cherry pie filling into the base of a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. So the first part of our formula is two cans of pie filling. You'll see in a minute, pretty much anyone will do it. You're going to want to get that into an even layer like you see here. The next thing that we're going to do is combine together melted butter with one box of white or yellow cake mix. Here I'm using a gluten-free version so that we have a gluten-free option for this meal. This also is one stick of butter with the yellow or white cake mix. So it's pretty much three ingredients, pie filling, one stick of butter, and one box of yellow or white cake mix. I prefer to mix the butter and cake mix together till it forms this crumbly combination. While it's not truly a dumb cake, I think it ends up producing the very best result. There are two other ways that you can do this with the butter. You can sprinkle the cake mix onto the pie filling, drizzle the melted butter over the top, or you can sprinkle the cake mix onto the pie filling and add pads, like thin pads of butter all over the top of the cake mix and let it melt over the top. Those two are technically the better way to do a quote dumb cake, but I think that mixing the melted butter with the uh, cake mix just produces a better result. Okay, option number two, this is just to show you a different kind of version. This is a combination of two different pie fillings. This is a raspberry with a peach. Oh my goodness, this was delicious. Highly recommend again. This is a 9 by 13 inch baking dish, combining those two pie fillings and then spreading into an even layer. We're going to do the exact same thing. This is butter with regular cake mix. You'll see a little bit of a difference in the consistency there, but the end result is ultimately the same thing. So again, the formula, two cans of pie filling, one stick of butter with one box of cake mix, yellow or white. That is the formula. We're going to put this into a 9 by 13 inch baking dish and bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. You'll see me putting these into the oven here in just a minute. That is kind of the overview of the, or the quote, the formula, if you will. You can mix and match this any way you like. We, I also like to do an apple pie filling with the caramel bits. You can buy them in the baking aisle at the grocery store to get kind of a caramel apple version. I really like that in the fall. You can also use a spice cake mix that has some of those warm cinnamon spices in them. So you have the apple pie filling, the caramel bits, and the spice cake mix. So you can just fiddle. Now that you know the formula, you can fiddle with some of the ingredients. An alternative for cooking this would also be to do the exact same thing in the slow cooker and cook it on low for three hours. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy making a dump cake like this for you and your family.